Hey guys, post me talking real quick. Uh, I love this game. I highly recommend all of you play it for yourselves, especially if you're a big fan of platforming games. Uh, the reason post me is talking right now is that I love this game so much that I played almost the entire game in one sitting, which means uh, I recorded much longer than I usually do per, you know, playing session. So, uh, I'm keeping to my promise of short episodes, or shorter episodes, so that might mean awkward cuts. I'll try my best to avoid that, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have to say, so please enjoy a story about my uncle. Hey guys! Uh, welcome to a story about my uncle. So, um... Ever since I played Pocket Mare, it, it's been a lot of trial and error trying to find another uh, good game for a Let's Play, and it, it kind of sucks because um, I just I haven't found anything yet. And you know, it's not like a, <laughs> it's not like a, I don't try to you know record or make something out of it. Um, you know, I. There was actually a couple of games where I recorded several episodes, and it just, you know, either I just got bored of it or something else. It's just, or something with the game. Um, but long story short, this is one of the games in my library, and I figured instead of not playing it, I should play it. Shoo. Let's get started. I did not play this. I don't know why you would assume I played it before. Dad? Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something... something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. Oh. Ooh. This is... Oh, what the... That I was weird. I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see. See if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. Oh, I can't jump. Alright, so this says, do not forget protective gear is important. Turn off turbine, oven, reactor, and lights. Turbine and reactor? What? What kind of home is this? Also, there is a disturbing amount of garbage bags just sitting in your, what is this, living room, foyer? This is actually really, this would be a hell of a foyer. Not quite sure what this is. It's also kind of dark in here. You know what? Uh. Uh, I guess there's no way to turn up the light. It's just, it's kind of dark. Wait, wait, hold on. Here we go. Uh, gamma. There we go. I mean, I really hope this doesn't disturb the ambience, but I really couldn't see anything. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. You can... You can zoom into things. Can I see what that? Let's see. This is an encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Looks like it's in Latin, though. Can I turn this on? Actually, I don't even. I, th I thought that was a radio for a sex. That looks like a lockbox, actually, or, or a banker's box. So this looks like the family. Ah, uh, eh. Chairs in the way. Barney on the Rio bus. Uh, Fernandez in Paris. 
a whole bunch of dudes cheering on this guy who has this other guy in a joker hold? No, I'm not, I don't know what that's, what, what's going on there. That dude's enjoying a good book. Glastonbury. Very pretty place. Tomorrow, I have left, uh, something, a uh, something journey. I have left for a spontaneous journey. See you soon, Fred. Call Lars, talk about fun time, hair, scary game. Those are three words I would never think to combine in the same sentence. Well, I mean, it's a list, but still. Oh, I got that. That which allures us. A study on matter and its meaning for universal life. Matter is anything that occupies space and has... Blah, 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 blah. I don't think you guys want to read all that. I, mean, I guess you could pause and look at it if you want. That's another encyclopedia that was downstairs. This house looks nice. Hey, we left a can of Coca-Cola right in the corner there. Or excuse me, just cola. Forensic science. We climbed that cave for days. A petrifying journey. Looks like they got multiple copies. They got at least two here. Must be your favorite book. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. That actually reminds me of a mask in Majora's Mask, which I need to do a full Let's Play of that. I tried doing one a little way back, like a couple of years ago, and I got like, I don't know, not, not even halfway through the game, and for some reason I stopped, so. Somebody doodled on here and they scratched something out, or X'd it out. An elephant, a city. Hey! Some. I can't read that. That's a pretty painting. Got a whole bunch of notes to read. Oh. Wow. There's uh, some scuba gear on the table there. I'll investigate that in a minute. Alright, what do we got here? Organisms multiplying equals sign of new life. H2O plus B, and then we got a little doodle here. Uh, YouTube, watch. I wonder if that's, jeez. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if that's an actual link. I kind of want to, I kind of want to write that down and see. Uh, grappling hook. That does not look like a grappling hook, but okay. And some sort of equation. This is important. This guy likes to burn candles, apparently. That's a car battery. I don't know what th that's doing there. Okay. Aw, to Uncle Fred. What a lovely doodle of a unicorn. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I think the game doesn't want you really to read that one, I guess. What the hell is this? For a second I thought it was a typewriter, but that is not a typewriter. Dear Frederick, old friend, and then the rest is in another language. That's kind of weird. How it starts in English, and then the rest is... Unless it's like some sort of like, um... I can't think of the word for it, but like when you... Like, make up languages and you have to decrypt it, and it has like a secret message in there or something. I mean, this, you know, this Uncle Fred's and, you know, he goes on adventures and stuff. I wouldn't put it past him if he did stuff like that. Remember, respond to Nathan's later. A letter. Something about lost treasures. Kaleidoscope of math. Don't forget, turn bell. Oh, that is cute. I like the little Easter egg. Dad lights up, things disappear, where do they go? Starting to worry. New invention ideas, time travel car, already, wow, already done. Ah, hmm, so you created a functioning DeLorean, huh? Automatic toaster, disposal system, go. We kind of already have those, but okay, maybe a more, like, efficient one. 
See you soon. Love, Maro. Ooh. Uncle Fred gets around a little, does he? Race is one. Watch another YouTube. Is that the same link? I wonder if that's the same link. No, that's a different one. Uh, can I read? Uh, movies to watch. Star Wars 4 through 6, of course. The Matrix, Clockwork Orange, Schindler's List. Dear John? <laughs> Uh, one of these things, not like the other. Well, I mean, they're all kind of different, to be honest, but I, I would not, I would be fine with the previous four being clumped together. Dear John, that, that's, uh, that's way out of left field. That must be a joke. That's just. Maybe it likes that movie. I think that's a flare. Yeah, why do you have flares in here? That's a fire hazard, dude. Okay. Got more of the same books here. Folklore Magazine. Monsters of Modern Time. Readers share their stories. That's, uh... I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Can't really read any of that. What the hell is... Oh, that's like an oxygen tank. That's another, like, fire hazard, dude. You gotta be careful just leaving, like, all this flammable shit lying about. Daddy's helmet. Aw. So... <sighs> Is this like, is this all Fred stuff? I mean, I, I'm assuming yes. And like, maybe Fred's dad was also an adventurer and he has like all this, he was inspired by his dad to do all this kind of stuff. The same second he realizes what has happened, the launching pad powers up and sends him with an immense velocity towards the stars. Boy suspects to start falling sometime soon, but he doesn't. Said he keeps rushing toward the star towards the stars. That should just be toward. That's a grammar boo boo. Uh, specifically, that part with the intensely twinkling stars. He notices they are coming closer to him, disappearing on the horizon. And next thing he knows, he lands on his back on firm ground. Thanks to the suit, he su he survived the fall, but he is still dizzy when he stands on his feet. Words can barely describe what he sees next. A huge cave rises in front of him. Walls are made of dense forest structure and platforms are floating in the middle of the air. Hmm, is this foreshadowing? <laughs> I wonder. Strange glowing symbols pulse and change on the walls. The only sky above him is on the spot where he landed. But how can there be a sky above him if he fell into the sky? The place where the boy was landed almost looks like an altar. The ground is dug out and there are small, beautiful stones forming a circle around him. The light comes from the ambient sky above him and the glowing symbols form within the cave. It isn't dark, but neither is it very bright in there. The boy looks around and finds a sign in front of the altar. The gods throw us gifts from the stars. Be forever grateful for what they bring. The boy sees a platform quite close to the one he's at. It seems like he is at the end of the tunnel. The adventure pack should be able to handle this jump. Huh. Sounds like a good read. So we got third person, then we got first person. Oh, it's Tuck with Uncle Fred here. I stepped into the left. Oh, holy shit! This is just this is just what said downstairs. So in case you, in case you guys need a recap, because I'll be honest, I wasn't fully paying attention to what he said. I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It was an old brick house, shaped like an observatory. Okay, so this is his uncle's house. I had, uh, I had told my mother where I was going. She replied in a sarcastic voice. She never did like his adventures, or dangerous vacations as she liked to call them. But I had skipped dinner and ran up the hill to his house to see if he was back from his latest adventure. Uncle Fred had traveled most of the world. The shelves in his workshop were filled with tools and gadgets that he had either crafted himself or found on his journeys. I turned around and saw the... Locker? I think it says locker. 
Her Uncle Fred kept his adventure suit. I had seen it in action before, but his suit... And then it kind of cuts off. <sighs> Explorer reaches top of mountain at age 52. Damn. New species of bacteria found during science fair. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh, I can't get that way. This guy was a total slob. Blah. Leaving Coca-Cola everywhere. Jeez. And his new fancy sport drink. H3O. Oh shit. And it's ice cold too. That's, that's pretty intense. What the? That actually kind of creeped me out for a second. Got a propane tank. What? Oh shit, son. He's got a Game Boy here. Dude. I'll interact with that in a minute, game. I'm taking my time. I know I am going at, like, a snail's pace here. Oh, holy shit. It goes on and on. Um. Okay. Doesn't look like there's really much to read. Let's go interact with My uncle with used this. to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word. Without sending cards. Uh oh Damn, he's been all over the place. He's been to Brazil twice, Chile, Peru twice. Um, that's is that that's not Hawaii. Why you be like uh, over here somewhere? I'm really bad at geography. I'm not sure what island that's supposed to be. Yeah, he's been... He's been all over the place. He's been to Egypt. That's pretty cool. But not New Zealand. What? Wait, where is New Zealand? I don't even see New Zealand. Huh. Well, at any rate, he's been to a lot of places. Okay, oh. Dear Esther, I started writing, but she... <laughs> okay, I guess these are the same developers who made Dear Esther, then. Huh. I've, I've uh, heard mixed things about Dear Esther. Um... Oh, here we go. Looks like this continues it. So, uh, Uncle, F I think we already read that part. Uncle, F uh, da, 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 da. turned around and saw the locker where Uncle Fred kept his adventure suit. I had seen it in action before, but his suit wasn't in there. Next to where it used, to oh, oh, okay, hold on, just real quick. I realize these are pages of like a manuscript, so like he he's writing about his experience, you know, uh, experiences he's had of his uncle. That's pretty cool. Uh, next to where it used to be was another suit. More streamlined and smaller than his. Looked like an updated version. I tried it on. It fit perfectly. Power core was drained, but there should be some functionality left. Large metal door that led into the observatory was so heavy. No man could open it without a suit like this. Player uses the power jump of the instructor. <laughs> I like that. Larry uses the bar jump with the instructed button on the screen. Uncle Fred used this room for his current projects. And blah, 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 blah. I should probably stop reading this because it's kind of spoiling the nearby future. I just, I, I like looking at stuff like this in games. I, I'm always interested about little details. Looks like little test speaker tubes. Okay. I'll, I'll move on. Oh, that's the same note. Two, yeah, look at that. He's got. Why do you got copies of the same sticky note there, Fred? Are you do you have? Are you do you have some OCD going on? Ah, just real. Yeah, these are all the same sticky notes. Uh, Morton Metallics. I can't really read that. 
Oh, wow, it is very blue in here. What happened to, like, the narration? Can I interact with any of this? I can't. Fantastic Frederick's disposal system. So what is this supposed to do? Uh, we'll dispose of anything. And that is underlined. Convenient and environmentally friendly. Probably. <laughs> Negatives. Uh, dangerous for children. Price expensive. Prob. Where does it all go? That is a good question. You can't just expect it to dispose of something without it having to take it somewhere else. I mean, you know. That's a spoopy mask. Ah, oh, look at all these photos. They're pretty. Diploma. Frederick Gable for extraordinary expertise in quantum physics. That's not what a diploma looks like. I think he rewarded that himself. So I'm wondering, actually, if the if he purposely has, like, garbage bag strewn about to test this, you know, supposed disposal system that works. Also, that is very pretty. He lives in the Arctic? Or is it just, like, you know, cold, chilly winter day? But that'd be a hell lot of snow for just, like, you know, uh, winter season. That is very pretty. Well, he did say this is an observatory, so yeah, I guess... Oh. I have oh. visited Uncle Fred's house Jeez. countless Scared times. Me. But in the locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. It's like he wanted me to go on an adventure. Clearly. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. That's because it was. Oh shit. Oh shit, son. What what can I can can I what can I do? I still can't jump. I don't know what it is, but like I I I just love I, I I there's like just a simple satisfaction I get in video games from jumping. And it kinda like bothers me a little bit that I can't jump in this. I mean I guess for this kind of story there there really isn't a point, but I don't know. Here's the blueprint for that grappling hook. Which uses an actual prosthetic hand. Interesting. Or is that where like where you stick your and uh, in or out? I don't know. Oh. What the? Oh. Okay. That's supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, those are all the same pic uh, uh, pages of the manuscript here. Oh, I'm assuming all those are encyclopedias there. It's got a lot of, like, multiple copies of the same thing. This guy does not like to lose anything. He, he's got to be prepared for the worst. L.A. riots. With a very uh, racist depiction on it. Well, multiple racist depictions. It's got some fast food there. Can't leave your tasty treats discarded like that, man. Men on the moon. Touchdown successful. Flag planted. Rocks collected. Uh, something on the something after perfect touchdown. Ugh. Hold on a second, guys. I just want to adjust to my seat. Get all comfy here. Alright, up I go. The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Oh Uncle Fred boy. had warned me not to touch any of his things. But, as I said, <laughs> I was a curious child. I love the little touch of the tongue there too for added effect. 
That's just a nice little touch. So do I need to put something on the pad to dispose of? Can I touch it? I can touch it. Okay. Looks like it's all the same stuff here. One Chai Tai. That's a hell of a name. And then we got Burger Dome. That just sounds very uh, intimidating. Uh, something coffee. I can't really read that. Ellie coffee, I think? Welcome to Fred OS version 0 0.03. Pull the lever to launch. Okie dokie. I can. Eh. Uh oh. Door closed. Starting, initializing, finding target, found target, opening dome. Wait, am, am I the target? Oh. Oh, what the? What the? I didn't move! The game did that automatically. What the hell? Oh, shit. Oh, boy. A story about my uncle. So that was just the intro. <laughs> I took my sweet ass time with that.